Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hopkinton High School turf fields on this windy morning. As we have Hopkinton Hillers girls JV field hockey coming up, and today they will take on Medway. It is their first game of the season. We have four games for you on this Saturday. We start off with JV field hockey, and then we'll have the varsity field hockey game. And then after that, we'll have girls varsity soccer against Medway, and then girls JV soccer. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you here on this Saturday from the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. And these athletes certainly happy to be out on the field here today. As the Hillers take the field, Medway set to take the field. Certainly a lot of rule changes due to the COVID-19 regulations. There will be no officials uh, stick checks, so it's up to the coaches to check the sticks. And it will now be seven on seven action out there, rather than 11 on 11. Our crew today for this game is Mike Terosian and Eve Weatherhead as we are set to get underway. And as you can tell, already a difference in the rules here, as you only have one player in that center circle, and they are going to try to prevent players from getting close to each other as much as possible, as here comes the Hillers. Coming up the middle is Medway. And another difference here in field hockey, it will be four quarters rather than halves. They're doing four 12 minute quarters. And soccer is going to be doing the same thing, which you'll see later as it'll give the officials more of an opportunity to take a break and sanitize everything. And we get a stoppage over on the far side of the field. Very windy day here at the turf field. Certainly going to make uh, Broadcasting four games interesting and certainly make these games interesting. As Medway in the blue course, the Hillers in green and white. And here comes Medway up the middle. Breakaway here, shot opportunity, that's a goal. That goal is going to be scored by Margaret Monahan, the freshman. Medway JV led by head coach Brenda Talamini. And it's a 1-0 lead for Medway. So we have our first goal of the 2020 JV season. Margaret Monahan, the freshman for Medway. 10-24 left to go in the quarter. Hiller is trying to work into Medway possession. Here comes Medway and another quick break. Look out. Approaching in, takes a shot, and it is stopped and knocked out of the box. That was Elizabeth Kenny on the shot. Here comes the Hillers, trying to work it back upfield. So far early in this one, Medway with the momentum. We get a whistle here. Up the far side now. Up 
Medway in control at midfield. Here they come up the near side. Medway approaching in. Dangerous here for the Hillers. Well, Medway, they have approached the box and got inside the box a number of times today. Hillers going to have to defend their zone and work that ball upfield and try to get some momentum going. And it's going to be kicked away by the goaltender. Working up the near side. Here comes Medway once again. I apologize, we're just trying to get the rosters. Medway's roster, and we will have Hopkinton's roster shortly. Julia Evers with possession. And there, there it is. I got the digital copy to work, so we'll have Hiller's tapes for you in moments. Here they go up the far side. Katie Bolster getting to the ball, and now the Hillers approaching. Hopkinton led by head coach Tori Harvey. And of course, typically we only cover the varsity games here in HKM, but with the fan restrictions, we are going to cover GV as well this year. They are allowing a limited amount of fans here at the games. Each player gets two lanyards which they can give to two people who can go to the game. But anybody without a lanyard is not allowed at the games, which is why we'll have a whole lot of Hillers sports coverage for you this fall to make sure you don't miss the action. Margaret Monahan with possession for Medway, the freshman. A 1-0 Medway lead, 6.40 and counting left to go. Monahan approaching. Into the box it goes. We'll get a stoppage here. Getting to it was Hannah DeBoer. Here comes Medway. They'll get a free hit here. Elizabeth Kenny with the ball. She'll back up to the 25 yard line for the 25 yard hit. She'll drive it in. Feeds it forward. And a shot is going to be deflected away. The shot was by Margaret Monahan, who has the only score of the game so far, deflected away by Katie DeColis. Hopkinton JV led by head coach Tori Harvey, assisted by Laura Yurkovicius. And this Hillers field hockey program, they have just done a tremendous job at developing players throughout their system as Medway approaching the box once again will get a stoppage. side now, tracked down by Anna DeBoer. Hiller is working it upfield, trying to get a little momentum. They defended the box well. Medway's threatened a number of times here in this first quarter. But Hopkinton has done well at defending their box. But right now it is Medway with the one to nothing lead as it's stolen away by Emma De Michelle. The center circle it is D. Michelle. And now here comes Medway taking it away is Liz Kenny. Now the Hillers take it right back. Swipe through by Monahan. Well, this season it's seven on seven action to cut down on the amount of players on the field because of COVID 19. So 
it's going to be more ground to cover for these athletes. Field hockey already being a sport that you need to run a whole lot in and get to the ball quickly. Typically, you won't have as much ground to cover since you have those three extra players on the field. But this year, it'll be all about speed up and down that field and hustle. And that is what the head coach of the varsity team told us on our weekly sports show this past Wednesday that conditioning is going to be huge. Head coach Rebecca Bate, who we'll see in the varsity game following this JV contest. As it's sent over to the far side, tracked down by LePage, and we get a whistle. And of course, don't forget, you can catch our brand new weekly live sports talk show HKM Sports Talk Live every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. An hour of sports. We talk a lot of Hiller sports, of course. And we even throw in some pro sports talk. It's a whole lot of fun, so be sure to check out HKM Sports Talk Live Wednesdays at 3 p.m. It's Medway trying to gain control here. His bolster was quickly approaching, but she's deferred. And here comes the Mustangs. Liz Kenny working up the field front of the box and defending there is LePage and we get a stoppage and that's an instance of one of those stoppages that you got a few players close to each other and they don't want anybody getting too close to each other so they'll let some contact be made and players get close to each other for a second or two but if they get tied up that whistle is going to get blown Kenny trying to send it over to the corner. We get another stoppage here. It will be Hiller's ball. 2.02 and counting left to go here in the first quarter. And just a reminder, everything will be quarters this season to give that extra stoppage time for sanitization of all the equipment. And we're going to get a whistle here as Lauren Stretch A got tied up. Julia Evers will take it for the Mustangs. Sends it over to the near side to Flata. Flata getting a little bit tied up with DeColis. Sends it back. And now we have a Hiller steal. Nice job by Interante, Reese Interante getting in there. Sent over to the near side, Sienna Flata gonna chase it down. Less than a minute left to go in the first quarter now. There's Durante trying to steal it away. And Durante challenged by Flata. Swiped aside by Medway. number 13 out there from Medway. Anjali Batra is going to take the hit for the Hillers here. 22 seconds left to go. Hopkinton has to hustle here if they want to take an attempt. Stolen away. Up the near side. Approaching 10 seconds left. And Durante trying to get back in there for the Hillers. Going to keep running and Durante going to send it out. And time will expire in the first quarter. After one quarter of play, it is Medway 1, Hopkinton nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers JV Girls Field Hockey on H Camp.
which makes it worse. <laughs> are tuned in to Hopkinton Girls JV Field Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call as we enter the second quarter between the Hopkinton Lady Hillers and the Medway Lady Mustangs. It's a 1-0 lead for Medway. The Hillers will be working right to left across your screen for the second quarter. Taking it in the Center circle is Anjali Batra. She'll send it back over to Interante. Of course, field hockey and soccer will be quarters this year to allow that extra stoppage time to sanitize everything. And all the players out there have to wear masks, and keep their masks on, on the field, on the sideline. Medway sends it up the far side. And they are trying to work into Hiller's territory. Here comes Hopkinton. That's Batra. Excuse me, that was Bolster rather all along the far side. And now taking the hit is going to be Nicolas. Send it up. A big thank you to our each cam crew this morning, Mike DeRosian and Eve Weatherhead. It's trying to get control in the center circle is Nicholas. I'm Tom Nappy, happy to be with you on the call for this game. And we'll be here all day. We'll have the varsity game after this one. That game is scheduled for a an 11 o'clock start, and then girls varsity soccer against Medway at 1.30, and then we have JV girls soccer at 3.30. All live on HCAM. And then tomorrow we have more live Hiller sports. We'll have boys soccer. We'll have the JV team at two o'clock, and then the varsity team at 4 p.m. And that is tomorrow. Boys soccer against Medway. The near side towards Decolis. Swing and a miss there by Bakyaki for Medway. She took a chop at it. She'll send it up towards the midfield circle. Amanda White approach again. Decolis sends it down. 25 and ticking left to go here in the second quarter. Bakyaki will send it over. Trying to get it to White. It's taken away. Good steal there. And on that steal was Olivia Chen. Trying to get to it is Batra. Jolly Batra. Trying to set it over, and it's going to be taken away. Good defense there by Medway. Back and forth we go in this second quarter. As Medway trying to work their way up into Hiller's territory as flawed is deferred by Lasada. Bolster is going to get tied up. It will be Hiller's ball. I think that was one of those close contact calls. Got pretty close, so they get the stoppage. And there was certainly a bit of a tie up there as well. Here comes Hopkinton. They got a three on two heading up field. Batra gonna send it forward. Midway trying to defer it out. Batra was turned away. 
Losada will have the hit on it here. We got two hillers in the box, one just in front. Batra trying to box out the goalkeeper. Losada takes a big hit, sends it to the front of the box, and it's turned away. Here comes Medway. Sent up by Brooke Scott. And now it's taken back by the Hillers. Zinterate is able to get in there. Approaching seven minutes left to go here in the second quarter. For the stoppage here will be Hillers' ball. Grace Lasada. Lasada sends it up, a nice shot there. She's trying to get it right out to Bolster. And we get a stoppage in the box. It will be Medway's ball. Sent up towards midfield to Amanda White. And tied up now is Emily Kimball for the Hillers along the far side. And now Medway driving up. Kimball trying to strip it away. Free hit here for Medway. 541 and counting. Left to go in this quarter. Approaching the box, and good defensive work there, still in the danger zone. And we're gonna get a stoppage. It was Amanda White attacking, trying to get the shot on it, and it was defended well by Emma DeMichelle and Grace Lasada. Midway will get it from 25 yards out. Wind continuing to blow around here at the Hopkinton High School turf fields. Some very strong gusts throughout the day. And of course, we had that crazy storm. It only lasted about 15 minutes a couple days ago, but knocked down a whole lot of trees throughout the area. So we hope everybody has power back or gets it very shortly by now as Batra drives up and it's going to be taken away by the Mustangs. Sent up to Webb. Along the far side, Webb sends it over. And it'll be Hiller's ball. Taken away, dangerous situation here. Here comes Medway, there's a shot kicked away by the goaltender. That was Liz Kenny on the shot and the goaltender able to turn it away. Good kick away by the goalkeeper, Madison Hadley. Got another hit here by Medway from 25 yards out. Webb sends it forward. Well defended, good positioning there by Chen, but now she's going to let it get by her as Brooke Scott was able to take it away. Sent over to the corner after the kick away where Jerry is going to have it stolen away. We get yet another stoppage here and a bedway possession. 312 and counting left to go in this first half. Midway trying to attack. It's a 1-0 lead for Medway. It's been a good defensive battle so far. Sent over out in front of the box. Stoppage here. Oh, 
country ever is going to send it over. The Hiller's ball. but an even better save by Hadley. I believe that was Sophia Ruggieri on the shot. Here comes Hopkinton. Well, Hadley's been pretty busy in net for the Hillers the last couple of minutes. So we'll have a tie up here between Olivia Chen and Brooke Scott. 148 and ticking left to go in the second quarter. Which in normal circumstances, it would be the first half, because field hockey is typically two halves, but they're doing uh, quarters instead for field hockey and soccer for that extra stoppage time to wipe everything down. And Medway trying to have a last attack here to wrap up the second quarter. There's a shot, it's in. And that is going to be Olivia Webb with the score. A 2-0 lead for Medway. The score comes at 1.12 left to go. It's Margaret Monahan and Olivia Webb with the two scores so far. Hillers will take it. In the center circle, Batra. Anjali Batra sends it back over the far side. Set up now by Balster. Getting in there is Stretch A. Swing and a miss there by Stretch A. Now a good send up. Hopkinton approaching the box. Good send up by Batra, but it's kicked away by the goaltender, DeLuca. And now we're at 30 seconds left to go as Medway trying to work it back into Hopkinton territory. Kenny along the far side. Sends it back. Taken by Demichel. Ten seconds left in the second quarter. Webb trying to send it up, but couldn't get it by Ballster. And that's going to do it for the first two quarters of play. After quarter number two, it is Medway two. Hopkinton, nothing. We'll have a five-minute break at the half, and then we'll have the third and fourth quarter coming up in moments. But, of course, we're going to be live all day so you can get a glimpse at what's going on at the turf field. And we are starting off with JV field hockey. We'll follow up with the varsity field hockey game. That game's scheduled to start at about 11. Then at 1.30 p.m. we'll have Hiller's girls varsity soccer as they'll take on Medway. And then at 3.30 we'll have the JV girls soccer game. So stick around. Go get a nice cold soda pop and some snacks and enjoy a Saturday filled with Hiller's sports. At the half of the JV game, it is Medway 2, Hopkinton nothing. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you on this Saturday. You are tuned in to Hiller's Girls at JV Field Hockey on H Camp.
down a little bit with the brake. We are ready for the third quarter of action. We're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers JV Field Hockey on HCAM. And as we start the third quarter, a two to nothing lead for Medway. And we are underway here in this third quarter. It's been a good battle so far. Good defensive game, the Hillers did get some opportunities in that second quarter, and they took a couple shots on net, but they just have not been able to get much going in the box and haven't gotten a lot of those open opportunities. For this third quarter, Medway moving right to left across your screen. Here they come, and it's turned away. There to collect was Monahan. TVL, because of COVID-19, is split up into two pods of teams 
this year. And it'll likely stay like that for the entire year, but it certainly will for the fall season. And you play each of those five other teams in your pod twice, and that's pretty much your season. And Medway, of course, one of those teams. You've got Ashland, Bellingham, and Holliston, along with Hopkinton in one of the pods. So those are the opponents these Hillers teams will see this season. And of course, we'll have the fall one season, then we'll have the winter season, then there'll be the fall two season starting in February. And that's the season we're hoping to see some football and girls volleyball. And then you'll have that spring season starting in April. Miller is working their way upfield. Here they come. Sent out and it's kicked away. Show with a nice send out to Batra and it was kicked away by the goalkeeper. Kind of risky there by the goaltender. Coming way out of net. And if the Hillers were able to work by her, there would have been some trouble there and an easy score. But the risk paid off for Medway. Van Son approaching the box. Sends it over to Kenny. Now there's a Quick shot there, turned away by the Hillers goaltender. Shot by Kenny, and it's kicked away. That is, I believe, Christina Gallego in net for the Hillers. And it indeed is. And this season, it's all about giving these athletes an opportunity to improve their skill sets as much as possible, get out there, have some fun, of course, and the opportunity to play. So I think uh, during these games, you're gonna see a lot of substitutions, a lot of change-ups to get everybody in there at some point. Monahan sends it up. Page took a swing at it now along the far side of the page. Again, we'll have a Medway hit here. 830 and counting left to go here in this third quarter. It's high up. Medway's going to win that battle. As Scott was able to set it to her left and now along the near side. It's been Son. Battle between Van Son and Streche for the Hillers. Up the near side we go now. Tie up here, Olivia Webb, along with yeah, it's Katie Bolster. And it is sent down by Evers, collected by Kenny. Quickly approaching is Medway, Olivia Webb. Correction, I believe that was Margaret Monahan. Monahan sends it over, takes a shot, kicked away. And battle right in front of the net between Elizabeth Kenny and Paige. One's about to play, Medway with possession. yards out and that's the new rule when it goes out of play with the COVID implications you take it 25 yards out Just none of those uh, free hits anymore you don't want groups of players too close to each other trying to be cautious as possible to make sure everybody stays healthy out there corner ins anymore. Kicked away. It's been a busy quarter for Christina Gallego and Nett for the Hillers for sure. 2 nothing lead for Medway. 6.15 and counting left to go here in this third quarter. Get 
the stoppage here. We have a substitution for each side. Hannah DeBoer is into the game for the Hillers. Amanda White for Medway. Also coming in for Hopkinton, Grace Lasada. Clock continuing to run. Not a lot of uh, clock stoppages here in field hockey. The clock just keeps going. Kind of like an ice hockey game. And that's one of the other things you'll see uh, in this year of COVID. You'll see quick substitutions in these field hockey games. Kind of like switching up a whole line like you would in ice hockey. And typically, you'll see one or two at a time in field hockey, not a whole line change. But you're going to have line changes this year. Get all those players in there. Here comes Losada. Puts the hit on it. Looking towards the box, we get the whistle. Sada sends it forward and uh, legal hit there. So it goes to Medway, I believe she was she had to uh, pass it to a teammate and could not put it into the box. That is uh, one of those rule adjustments because they don't want players grouping up in the box. So that's one of those COVID-19 rules. You have to pass it to a teammate. You can't just take a shot on the free hit. On the far side. away as Kimball was trying to work her way up. There's a smack there by Interante. Pretty good shot, but it was wide to the left. 322 and counting left to go here in this third quarter. 2-0 lead for Medway. Up to Nicholas. Excuse me, on roster. It was Webb. Here comes Medway. DeVore catches up with it. Working her way upfield. Ball, good setup by DeBoer. Goes over to Kimball. Comes Hopkinton working up that far side, and we get a stoppage as Naya Kunum is trying to work her way deeper into Midway territory. And the Mustangs trying to attack as we approach the final two minutes of the third quarter. Good breakaway here. Here comes Grace Lasada rushing up the field. That's some good speed, but now a few Mustangs able to catch up with her. And the tie up will draw the stoppage here as Domenico is able to get a stick in there for Medway. Anjali Batra. Sends it up. And it went into the box. I believe that is what drew the whistle. And you see uh, the Medway coach on the sideline, Brenda Telemini, telling her team about 
that stoppage. Of course, there's very different stoppages this season due to the COVID-19 rule changes that all the coaches hope are certainly just temporary. Mustangs driving in as Johnson trying to catch up with it. Yaler's ball. And that is stolen away, sent into the box, a shot there, kicked away, still out in front. And Hofkinton, for, for the moment, able to clear it out, but now it's back in front, and then getting a shot in there was Malcolm. And we're gonna stoppage, it'll be Hiller's ball. Oh, Medway threatening there once again. But Hopkinton able to keep this uh, two-score game. Stoppage along the far side as Cunham was trying to work her way up the field. And that's going to do it for quarter number three. After three quarters of play, it is Medway to Hopkinton at nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton at Girls JV Field Hockey on HCAN. Fourth quarter of play, final 12 minutes. It's for 12 minute quarters this season for field hockey. Typically you'd have the two halves. Of course, uh, they need that extra stoppage time to sanitize everything, wipe everything down. And along the sideline, the players socially distant as well. They have to stand a few feet away from each other. That way we'll take the free hit from along the far side. Two nothing Mustangs lead. And deferred there by the Hillers. Here comes Hopkinton trying to get something going. It was Bolster working her way upfield. Bowster, excuse me. Over to the center circle, here comes Flata. 
you got tied up with stretch A. Turned away there by stretch A. And Webb and stretch A getting tied up there. Webb sends it forward. He's trying to get it out in front of the box. Well defended. trying to attack. Turned away for the moment. Ten, ten, and counting. A left to go here in this fourth quarter. Olivia Webb going to take it for the Mustangs. Sends it into the box. Kicked away. Still a big threat here out in front of the net. And that is going to be a score for the Mustangs. All kinds of traffic in front of the net. And it was just overwhelming for the Hillers. And Christina Gallego nearly got it out of there as she was kicking at it. But I want to say it was Sophia Ruggieri who put it in. We'll have to confirm that one. A lot of traffic in front of that net. But for now, we'll go with uh, Ruggieri on the score until we uh, get further confirmation. Here comes the Hillers up the far side. That way. Trying to attack once again. Lotta. Stoppage here. Also, uh, another field hockey rule to be aware of. There's no timeouts allowed. Which is uh, certainly not a usual thing, but they, they're not allowing timeouts because they don't want the players gathering close together along with the coach and having that close contact. Set up field there by Chen. Redway trying to attack once again. Hillers will take it. Over to Balster. Sent in the direction of Stretch A, but it went out of play. Midway ball. A handful of substitutions for both sides. Some uh, good talent on the field out there on both sides, and both of these schools very good field hockey programs. So it'll be pretty fun watching these JV teams develop throughout this season. Seven oh two and counting left to go here in quarter number four. with the hit from the 25 yard line. Sent up by the Mustangs now. Working her way up the far side is Interante. Here comes D. Michelle. Good 
back at it there, but now it's taken back by Olivia Webb and Medway. Mustangs trying to drive quickly upfield. Sent over towards Flotta. We'll send it back. Shot there by Webb. Out in front of the box. Trying to get it out of there. Kick away by the goaltender. Mailer's defenders back in the box have been busy in this quarter. Midway continuing to put the pressure on. And good kick away there by Gallego. Mailer's get it out for the moment. As Evers trying to send it back down. Field there was T. Michelle, and we get a stoppage. It'll be a Hopkinton hit. Don't forget, we have a full Saturday of Hiller Sports for you, live here on our HCAM Ed channel as well as our YouTube page. We'll start off with JV Field Hockey. We got varsity field hockey. Varsity game is scheduled to start at 11 o'clock. And then we have girls varsity soccer against Medway at 1.30. And then we have girls JV soccer against Medway at 3.30. And then even more good news, tomorrow we have boys soccer. Double dose of boys soccer starting at 2 p.m. We'll have the JV game and the varsity game against Medway. And that's how the next several weekends will be here on HCAM. We're gonna have all the home action from the turf field for you. There are restrictions on how many fans can go to the game because of the virus pandemic. Each player only allowed to have two people go to the game. They get two lanyards that they're able to give to the two people. So it is, uh, Certainly a little bit restrictive, but it is excellent that some fans get to go to these games because that a few weeks ago they didn't think that, that fans would be allowed at all, but they were able to develop a nice safe system to allow at least a couple fans for each player to go to the games, but no worries. If you can't make the game, we have it for you right here on HK. 316 and counting left to go in this fourth quarter as Midway trying to put the finishing touches on this one. Some more pressure in the box. Two fifty-six and ticking as the Hillers will have possession. Field has to reach a D. Michelle. Here's D. Michelle now. She'll get tied up. Right behind her. I believe that was Maya Kunum. And it's Medway trying to attack once again. Stepping in there to defer was DeVore. Out in front, a backhanded shot and a kick away. Catherine Johnson was the one to get the shot on it. Down to two minutes left. Can the Hillers get that zero off the scoreboard? Taken back by Medway. Johnson trying to work her way down as she is going to be deferred by Kimball. Is 
Sent over to the far side. Or trying to get in there. Midway looking for one last score. Here they come. Get a stoppage as Elizabeth Kenny was quickly approaching the box. Comes Medway, a shot, and it is going to be a little bit wide. You saw Gallego take a kick at it. Well, Medway certainly won the possession battle here and got some great opportunities in the killer's box, but this is one of those. Uh, Adjustment games, getting used to the new rules. and It's not as different as you're going to see in soccer. There's a whole lot of new rules in soccer. We'll talk about that once we have those soccer games. But it is great to see these student athletes getting out there, having some fun, and able to play the sports that they love. Well, that is going to wrap up this JV contest. The Medway Mustangs are going to take down the Hopkinton Hillers as they will take the win three to nothing. A very good game, well played by both teams and a whole lot of fun to call. The Medway Mustangs, one and oh on this season. Hillers fall to oh and one, a three nothing win for Medway. Coming up next, we'll have varsity field hockey as the Hopkinton Hillers take on Medway as we continue on here on our Sports Saturday Marathon. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you on HCAM. And as always, thanks for tuning in, everybody, and stand by of our city field hockey coming up in just a bit. I just wanted to mention what you just witnessed there. They are not allowed to have the handshakes, of course, uh, with the social distancing thing. So that's going to be the new way that the uh, two teams will greet each other after the game. Uh, nice gesture by both sides. Varsity field hockey is scheduled to start at 11 a.m. And we are going to be live throughout the day with the varsity field hockey game as well as varsity soccer and J girls JV soccer all coming up today on HCAM. Stay tuned. 